Hello from the other side. Did I nail it? You almost went like old English. In the yeah, beginning. almost like, I don't know. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, you have not already done so, consider subscribing, especially buckets, especially what? If they like sneakers. If you like or even love sneakers, we upload a lot of sneaker videos, buckets, define a lot. Almost every single day. Almost every single day. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Fomer Simpson when I am not here, when I am not residing in this buckets what is this it's no longer an enclave it is a a space a cascade you got to give me better words a space no i mean a cascade is a waterfall yeah it's a waterfall of sneakers see right here to my right to my left yeah they're not falling though they could be no they're shelves it's a frozen cascade it's cold outside uh what else if you enjoyed today's video please hit that thumbs up button it really does go a long way helps the channel continue to grow also lets us know what kind of content you want to see. The last thing I want to mention, uncivilizedstore.com, Buckets, who's behind the camera, the silence behind the violence, the, the what? The silence behind the violence. The man who's not seen very often, just the voice. Yeah, La Boca. La Boca. There you go. Um, him and I started the clothing brand, uncivilizedstore.com is where we sell said clothing. Just dropped this Playboy hoodie today, only got a few left. So we will put a link in the description for your convenience. Boom. And with that said, bucket, shake and bake. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake, baby. Boom. Let's get it. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 4 Craft. These are set to release February 11th and retail is 210 bucks. I scooped this pair from a local resale shop down here in the Tampa area. Kicks are for us. You've probably heard me mention them a bunch. Shouts to them, always appreciate them looking out. You know, we do try to bring you these early looks when we are able to do so, help you make your purchasing decisions. Buckets, another word, fancy word for decision. For decision? He doesn't know it, folks. This is not really a pair I've seen a ton of talk about, but I think it's just where sneakers are at right now. We've talked about it in previous videos, just looking at it from a hype perspective. We're seeing more and more pairs sit on shelves. They're not selling out. And if they do, in most cases, the resale prices are nowhere near what they were a couple years ago. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because it means the pairs that you like, the pairs that you want are much easier to get, and I am here for that. Now, as far as this particular pair goes, it's a Jordan 4, which always gets me going. Buckets is provocative. Very. Gets the people going, gets us going. Uh, I think that the Jordan 4 is one of the better Jordan models in existence. Buckets, it's well documented. You think it's the best Jordan of all time. I do. The greatest. The Jordan 4. The Jordan 4. Yeah, not this Jordan 4. Not this Jordan 4. Okay, you're just clarifying. Oh, all right. Showing your hand a little early today. No, no, I'm just letting it be known. Fair enough. My first impression is I actually like these. I think it's a really nice sneaker. Probably not in that mandatory category. Look, it's not Mando. Definitely not Mando. But they do have a premium vibe, and I dig that. You've got this really nice, smooth gray leather on the toe. <laughs> Same thing around the ankle. The wings are leather as well. And you can see some of the leather is a little bit more textured. You've got a long haired suede wrapping around the front of the sneaker. 
they also used that same suede on the eye stay panel and the tongue as well. And probably the coolest feature, at least in my opinion, is this debossed netting kind of pattern on the tongue and side of the sneaker. Typically on a Jordan 4, they use that classic plastic netting that we've all become so accustomed to. And so it's a cool little switch up. I think it's a nice, uh, I don't know, it adds to the whole craft, you know, buckets. What does craft mean? Made with, with your hands. With your hands. With, with me own bare paws. Okay. Yes. I don't think I could have pulled off the, the fine lining there. It's probably outside my skill or craftsmanship level, I would say. You don't have the skill or the technology to pull off a procedure like that. Definitely do not. Now, a couple other details. You do have one more little hit of this suede. You see the little patch they have on the outer ankle area. Kind of random, but also kind of cool. You've got the flight patch on the tongue, of course. The top and bottom eye stays have that aged or vintage look to them. I know a lot of people don't like that older look on sneakers, that pre-aged type of deal that we've seen a lot, but I have to admit, I do like it. Me self, buckets, I do like it. How about you? Sometimes. Not in this case. You're showing your hand early no, on. No, I'm not saying in this case or that case. I'm just saying that sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't like it. Fair enough. You've got that same kind of treatment with the jump man on the heel, that same cream color on the back of the tongue, upside down Air Jordan, as you can see. You've got flat gray laces, a darker gray ankle liner, that same dark gray on the midsole with some icy white as well, just to spruce things up. And you see every single color that they used on the upper incorporated on the outsole. Overall, I think they are pretty damn good. Like I said, I'm a fan of earth tones. Buckets, I don't know, are these earth tones? Is it, this might be more of a neutral tone, I think is what they call it. Definitely neutral over earth. A muted neutral. Okay. It's a subtle colorway, I guess was my point. And I think the focus is more so the craftsmanship or the premiumness of it. Okay. 210 bucks, worth it, not worth it? Not worth it in my opinion. Okay, so now you fully, you fully shown your hand now. No, because you haven't given it. The I final haven't given score. the number, but I don't think it's worth two hundred ten bucks. Fair enough. I actually do. I don't think it is a necessity. I think they are very, very good, and that's kind of the realm I will put these in. Now, like I said earlier, I am a tad biased when it comes to Jordan 4s. Just generally speaking, I do think it's one of the best Jordan models out there. The Amma Manier Jordan 4 was one of my absolute favorite sneakers of 2022. And for that matter, the military black pair was up there as well. Two really, really dope colorways. I don't think these are quite on either of those sneakers level, but maybe the tier underneath. Speak for know. yourself. All right, buckets. He's not showing his. He's not showing his hand anymore. Yeah, he's saving it. But we are kind of at the end of the video here, so I'm going to give these. Hmm, hmm, little beard stroke. I will give these an eight out of ten. I know you're probably gonna, you know, break my balls about that. So I will say seven point eight, just to be a little stingy. Okay. Yeah, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. It's a dope sneaker. Premium. Listen, what premium does. It looks better when they use premium materials or premium-ish, everything is relative. And also they feel a lot better on feet. Premium materials equal more comfortable materials almost every single time. Yeah, I agree with that. Scale of one to 10. Four and a half. That, come on. No, I don't like them. You trying to give a shock value here? No, what is this? no, I'm not a shock guy. You're a shock people guy. Think, if people think I'm a shock guy, I'm not a shock guy. I just don't like Four them. Four and a half. And that's a guy that loves Jordan 4s. The best Jordan sneaker in your neck. Because what I was just about to say is, if you love Jordan 4s like we do, then you're probably going to dig these. To me, this is like a watered down version of the cool gray 4. Just a whole different vibe though. Nah, it's kind of the same vibe. Come on. The deboss netting? No, oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, I think that's cool. I don't it's like something it. different. No, I don't like it at all. We see the same thing every week. Bam, bam, bam. No, we don't see the same thing More every week. More of the freaking same. No, kid. I disagree. More of the same. So I like when they switch it up. I wouldn't necessarily like every Jordan 4 to not have the netting, but I think this is cool. Just the outline. It was there, it was once there. There was once a fence here, it's not there anymore.
Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm not mad at you. The thing is, I'm not mad at your eight. So don't be mad at your four and a half. Yeah. Fair enough. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about these. Like them, love them, hate them. How do they stack up amongst the other Jordan 4s that have released recently? What are your thoughts, feelings, emotions? Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new singer for your head top. Got nothing else. Buckets. Anything from you? No, I'm done. A four and a half. You just drop your four and a half and walk away. I mean, I walk away to the computer where I'm going to edit Flames this. Flames in the background. You're like Denzel, man on fire. I wish you had more time. No, but what I'm saying is I'm not going to walk away. I'm going to go edit this video for hours. Wow. All right. Weird flex, but okay. Adios.